Hey guys, Firehouse Play here. I'm back with another video. Uh, I am still sick, so I apologize if this video and the past ones I've made recently sound kind of odd. Um, I have a sore throat. I don't know what's going on. Uh, anyways, I came across this uh, low level deck. Well, not low level, low elixir deck. It's a 3.4 deck, and a lot of high high level players are using these types of decks it's extremely aggressive and as you notice there's not a lot of strong cards it's all low level cards but it's very very effective um as you can see i almost made it to 2800 i was at 2799 and i went all the way down to like 2600 because i was just messing around with decks i, I really love to test decks out so i guess yeah, I'm, I'm drawing i'm i'm losing i'm winning etc etc Anyway, so this is a 3.4 deck uh, versus what I didn't know at the time was an Expo user. And, you know, as most people do, we all hate Expo, folks. But um, I wanted to show this deck. This is the very first time I've played this deck. In fact, I think this is the only time. But I was quite surprised at how effective this deck was considering it is a 3.4 deck. You know, a lot of folks, when they start out, they think they have to have tons of rares and epics in their deck. And that's really just not the case. Um, this deck here, I think, is a carbon copy of a top 25 player. And I really wanted to take a look at how well he uses this deck. And it amazed me. This deck is extremely fast. It's extremely quick. Um, this this really isn't a deck where you can kind of screw up and win. Um, it, it does deploy the hog and free spell strategy, which I just used there. But again, you know, it has some drawbacks. For instance, this deck does not have arrows, and I'm so used to having arrows, so I was scared shitless when I saw this huge group of troops coming towards my uh, tower here. But thankfully, I have Zap and just a normal minion card, which is able to take everything out. Um, so, so far right here, I'm sitting pretty well. You know, it really is tough to just play with a brand new deck without really knowing any of the strategies behind it. Um... The only thing that was comfortable about this deck was the Baby Dragon, the Hog Rider, and the Zap. Because in previous uh, decks, I used to use the Zap quite quite a bit. Um, so right here, I'm pretty comfortable. I think, you know, up, up to this point, it's a minute 19 left. I did not know my opponent had a Rocket or the Expo. Uh, I had a feeling he was saving up for something because he kept dropping an Elixir Pump. But, I mean, up to this point, I had no clue. Um, and as you can see, right at the 60 second mark, he starts using his Expo. Um, but luckily enough, you know, this is, a, again, a 3.4 deck. So, you know, you can really pump out a lot of troops really fast. And you see right here, I dropped off a Baby Dragon, a Minion Horde, uh, Goblins, and Spear Goblins all at the same time. I mean, that's a massive, and another set of Minions. So that's a massive amount of troops all at once. Of course, they can all be countered with the arrows, which is the downside. However, I was able to take out his right tower fairly quickly. Right here, I was a little nervous because, obviously, he has barbarians. I don't really have much to really counter that except for a baby dragon and, um, again, goblins. And then on the other side, he has a minion horde, but look at that zap. That zap almost takes out the entire group. Uh, and then he drops out another... Expo, but luckily enough, time's running out, and I'm able to counter that with my minions, and then I have goblins on the other side. So again, uh, this really shows you a 3.4 deck just beat a deck that had Expo, Elixir Pump, uh, Rocket. So don't always assume that you have to have these high-level cards to win at this game. Um, it, it really is more skill than deck. Alright guys, thanks for watching, please uh, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.